the holy sacrifice of the Mass, Thursday of the fifth week in Lent. Our entrance antiphon, Christ is mediator of a new covenant, so that by means of his death, those who are called may receive the promise of an eternal inheritance. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us call to mind our sins as we turn back to the Lord asking pardon and peace as we pray. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick, Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us yourself to give us strength, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Be near, O Lord, to those who plead before you, and look kindly on those who place their hope in your mercy, that cleanse from the stain of their sins, they may persevere in holy living, and be made full heirs of your promise through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. When Abraham prostrated himself, God spoke to him. My covenant with you is this, you are to become the father of a host of nations. No longer shall you be called Abram, your name shall be Abraham. For I am making you the father of a host of nations. I will render you exceedingly fertile. I will make nations of you. Kings shall stem from you. I will maintain my covenant with you and your descendants after you throughout the ages as an everlasting pact to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. I will give to you and to your descendants after you the land in which you are now staying, the whole land of Canaan, as a permanent possession, and I will be their God. God also said to Abraham, on your part, you and your descendants after you must keep my covenant throughout the ages. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones. He, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham, and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. 
If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Now Jesus said to the Jews, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. So the Jews said to him, Now we are sure that you are possessed. Abraham died as did the prophets, yet you say, Whoever keeps my word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham who died? or the prophets who died. Who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is worth nothing. But it is my Father who glorifies me, of whom you say he is our God. You do not know him, but I know him. And if I should say that I do not know him, I would be like you, a liar. But I do know him, and I keep his word. Abraham, your father, rejoiced to see my day. He saw it, and I and was glad. So the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and you have seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, before Abraham came to be, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid and went out of the temple area. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This last Sunday, we hear Jesus speak very clearly to Martha when she expresses her faith in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus reveals himself in a very particular way. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me shall live even in death, and whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? This is a question for all of us for all time. This is also one of the many choices that the celebrant is able to pray at the rite of committal when we are at the cemetery and burying one of our loved ones. It is a reminder to us um, that when we speak of Jesus, we are not speaking merely of a man, but of God's only begotten Son, who took a human nature upon himself for our salvation, and in a number of ways, Jesus identifies himself with that great I am, which he spoke to Moses when Moses asked at the burning bush, whom should I tell the Israelites is sending me? I am who I am. When the people, once again, who were supposed to have been prepared to receive the great I am in God's promise made flesh, ask, um, after Jesus says, 
Abraham, your father, rejoiced to see my day. He saw it and was glad. The Jews asked him, you are not yet 50 years old and you have seen Abraham. God sees all, but what is being spoken here is the uh, nature of the second person of the Trinity, begotten before all ages, consubstantial with the Father, and that Abraham saw him and his day at his entrance to the tent. Moses saw him at the burning bush. We long to see him as we remember from Scripture, but in a very particular way at the funeral mass when we pray the uh, exceptional uh, ending to the third Eucharistic prayer. Um, when we acknowledge that Christ Jesus will raise up us up in the flesh and that we will see him as he is. We will become like him for all the ages and give praise and glory to the Father forever in him. What is vital for us once again is um, that he speaks to Abraham on your part, you and your descendants after you must keep my covenant throughout the ages. And this was um, one of those things that the nation of Israel was failing to do when our Lord was preaching the gospel to them because they had departed from the way. Here is the one who says, I am the good shepherd who has come to carry us back to the Father's house as we prepare to enter into the celebration of Passion Sunday, we should remember how easy it is um, to depart from his way. But remember the greater power of grace to follow him on the way. How at the beginning of the week, crowds of people were crying out, Hosanna, son of David. By the end of the week, they will be crying out, crucify him. Once again, it is the persevering heart that follows Jesus through his cross, death, to his resurrection, his exaltation in glory, and prepare for that uh, great moment where the new covenant in the blood of Christ and his uh, conjugal relationship with his bride, the church, is sealed in a very particular way and bears life as God always intends in the mystery of Pentecost, when the fullness of God's divine life is offered to us for the sharing in the gift of the indwelling spirit. With faithfulness to the covenant that binds us, we pray, have mercy, God, in your kindness. 
As we respond to these petitions, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the bride of Christ on earth, the church, under the leadership of Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our Bishop, and all of our brother bishops in communion with the Pope, that we and all of the generations that follow us keep the commandments and the covenant God has established in the blood of the Lamb, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those called to the covenant with Noah, for all animals, plants, and living things. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those called to the covenant of Abraham, for the children of Hagar and of Sarah. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those called to the covenant of Moses, for all who walk by the light of the Torah. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those called to the covenant in Christ, especially for all the baptized and for our elect who prepare for the Easter sacraments, our candidates for full communion and our confirmandes. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who seek the holy through the paths of ancient wisdom, knowing that they find all of their fullness and completion in the person and works of Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for the intentions of this Mass. We pray for um, all of our beloved dead, for all who sought fidelity to the mystery revealed in the universe. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for uh, all of the intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray for all of the souls of, in purgatory. We pray for those souls who have no one to pray for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the conversion of sinners and the salvation of souls. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for all of us gathered here that taking from this altar in this spiritual communion, Jesus, who shares himself with us, that we become by his power, his living sign of his hand reaching out to save, calling the world to life through his holy name. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, Holy One of Mystery, though you are beyond us, you reveal yourself to us and call us as your people. Guide us along the paths you have set before us that we may live in faithfulness to you, who alone are God, now and forever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God, all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be acceptable to you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, O Lord, our God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquities. Cleanse me from my sins.
Pray, beloved, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, Lord, we pray on these sacrificial offerings, that they may profit our conversion and the salvation of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Paul, Saint Monica, Saint Francis, the Hermit, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata Dona nobis pace. May this be with the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who eternal life to us who receive it. The Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death, brought life to the world freely by this most holy body and blood from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your teachings and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Keep us all safe for eternal life. What has passed our lips as food, O Lord, may we receive in purity of heart that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity.
our communion antithon, God did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all. With him, he has given us all things. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Be gracious to your people, Lord, we pray that as from day to day they reject what does not please you, they may be filled instead with delight at your commands. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you once again, brothers and sisters. Um, during the, uh, these days, if there's not a particular um, intention request for uh, uh, a family member or someone who has um, done a mass uh, or has um, scheduled a mass to be said for their family or loved one, um, there's times where um, Shirley fills those masses with, like for our military men and women, but I want to leave a couple days open for your intentions. So during those uh, general intercessions, you may offer your intentions with this spiritual communion. And know that God is collecting all of them and offering them up in what I am offering up on your behalf in this Eucharistic celebration. Pray silent with me now, please. Prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ crucified. Behold, O good and loving Jesus, that I cast myself on my knees before you, and with the greatest fervor of spirit, I pray and beseech you to instill into my heart ardent sentiments of faith, hope, and charity with true repentance for my sins and a most firm purpose of amendment with deep affection and sorrow I ponder intimately and contemplate with my mind your five wounds having before my eyes what the prophet David had already put in your mouth about yourself, O good Jesus. They have pierced my hands and my feet. They have numbered all my bones. Amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Know you, you remain throughout the day in my prayers. And remember that you are loved.